In Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 10, there's a new feature that I'd like to demonstrate, Self-Care Portal. Now, this replaces the end user web page that was available in previous versions of Unified Communications Manager. To provision the options that are going to be available in the Self-Care Portal, the administrator can log under the System Enterprise Parameter tab. Under the Self-Care Portal parameters, the administrator has options to set regarding what features will be available for the end user, such as are they going to be able to show additional My Phones? Can they change their username and password? Will they be able to show voicemail notification settings? Will show call history be available? Once the administrator has these parameters configured, I'll demonstrate how to set up an end user to be able to access the self-care portal. The first thing we need to do is add an end user to the system. This can be achieved through bulk administration, LDAP synchronization, or I can just create an end user under the end user configuration tab. So here I'll create Joe user. Joe user will need a password and a last name. If you wish Joe user to be listed in the directory, then you're going to want to give him a first name and then the telephone number parameter set here will be what other users will find in the directory when they search for Joe. Once you've saved, we can navigate to the bottom and add Joe to a user group. In order to access the self-care portal, the end user, Joe in this case, is going to need to be a member of the standard CCM end users group. The other thing I'm going to do is give Joe a phone to control. I'm going to associate a phone to the user account. And now, when Joe accesses the self-care portal, he'll be able to configure his own parameters and change settings for his phone. To access the self-care portal, the users are going to log into HTTPS, the server IP address, followed by the CCM user directory, and then from here sign in with their username and password. The self-care portal lists the end user's phones, settings, whether the end user wants to configure call forwarding, advanced calling rules, whether the calls be from internal or external calls, Phone settings include speed dial, services, ring settings, voicemail notification settings, call history, and phone contacts. Other settings available include voicemail, IM and availability, if the user has unified CM, IM, and presence enabled, they'll have their status policy listed here. They'll be able to set do not disturb. Users will have access to the general settings tab, which will include the password and PIN, and any downloads that were made available by the administrator. Here in this example, the end user has access to the Cisco Unified CM Assistant Console.
The self-care portal is a new feature available to end users in Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 10. In this video, I demonstrated how to configure an end user to be able to access the Cisco self-care portal, as well as demonstrated the different features and options that are available. 